first training day as Jigglypuff. We gotta, we gotta put it through its paces, you know, make sure that uh, it's gonna stay on my head, make sure how, you know, get comfortable with it so I can dominate people as Jigglypuff. So we're gonna train in Jigglypuff costume today. Well, Christmas break is over. We are back in the gym, back to training. Looking pretty good. That recovery room is going to be done here in a couple weeks, maybe. All right, so throwing's done for the day, workout's done for the day, and now it is time to pick up this stuff and start some painting. Forgot to mention the reason why we're putting up a batter's eye. Uh, it's because Eric Sim struck out so bad last time in Live ABs, and he had to make an excuse. He had to say that he couldn't see the ball coming out of the batter's eye, and that's why he was late on 82. And guess who's not here helping out? Erickson, King Jabroni. I am off to the Orange Bowl to see Georgia and Michigan. Made it to the hotel, finally. Hey Hi. Good How to see you? you. So Megan and I missed breakfast this morning, but we're off to Hard Rock Stadium? Yep. Is that what it's called? Megan, you're a Michigan fan. You've been a Michigan fan for how long? Since I was little. And you live where? In, <laughs> uh, in Ohio? Yeah, it doesn't make for very good uh, conversation around school. But this year, Michigan stomped Ohio, huh? So uh, how was that for you? Uh, best last three weeks of my life at school. <laughs> how much gloating did you do? I was a bad sport. That's uh, much deserved after being, was it eight years? Ten years? How long has it been since uh, Michigan beat Ohio State? Twice in 16 years, I think. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good ratio. All right, Bunny, what are we doing at FanFest? We're going to zip line. <laughs> There's not a zip line here. It's a bungee jump. No, they said there was a zip line. We found some, uh, we found some fans, some Georgia go fans. Dogs, go, dogs, go dogs, baby. Go, go dogs. dogs, baby. Go dogs. Go dogs, baby. Yeah, so Kyle Farmer would be a fan of you guys. Yeah. You guys know Kyle yeah. Farmer? Yeah, of course, yeah. man. I found some uh, Georgia fans and some Bauer fans out here. It's great. Appreciate you guys. Of course. Go dogs. <laughs> <laughs> to get me a Michigan shirt. Well, mercifully, it is over. Uh, that was demoralizing, depressing. Um, yeah, there's nothing much more to say about it. Uh, finally scored a pity touchdown at the end. I think it finished like 721 to 11. Um, not as many points as drop passes. The weather was good. The weather was good. <laughs> We won the coin toss and the weather was nice, so <laughs> I guess that's two wins for the night. 
Well, we're back in Arizona. Review on the trip. Uh, beautiful weather in Miami. That's about all that was beautiful about it from the trip standpoint. Michigan's play was certainly not beautiful. I suppose if you're a Georgia fan, you loved it. But uh, yeah, so spent a couple days out there, enjoyed the beach, enjoyed the weather, but good grief, what a bad game. I mean, the atmosphere was awesome, but Michigan played terrible. Uh, I've known Megan for many years now, since 2014 maybe, something like that. She's a huge Michigan fan, so she was crushed. Uh, that was tough to see. And Ohio State won, so just a bad, just bad overall, bad all around. So anyway, uh, back to Arizona today, about to hop to my truck at the airport, head off to the facility. So yeah, see the bet here is whoever on February 1st, Whoever has more TikTok followers, Eric Sim or me, just straight up, whatever number is higher yeah, wins. The number is. And uh, so yeah, Eric started off at 341,000. I started off at zero. Tim is in favor of the loser has to enter a bodybuilding competition. February 19th. I got it. I, I already got it. <laughs> get a little, get a little speedo and go up on stage and try to, yeah, do the. Uh, I don't even. We'll have to like practice the poses. Just. It would be so brutal. It would be so brutal. There'd be approximately four people there. They'd all be momentum people videoing it live on social. It'd be terrible. What I'm doing is I'm hiring out. I'm going to make like two or three videos a day for myself. I'm hiring out someone else to make two or three videos a day for me. I have a social media manager posting for me. So I'm trying to like just get all the amenities that Eric has so it's a fair fight, you know? not true at all. You have way more than me. Fuck it. He tried to bribe Kevin away from my, <laughs> making my phone. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, Kevin, how does the bonus structure sound tied to me winning this bet? <laughs> yeah, Eric got Eric got humbled really quick as soon as I said that. He's like, Oh no, no, wait, wait, wait! Don't take Kev from me. You can't take Kev from me. Please don't. <laughs> we got leakage. We got leakage. Look at this. Right it's not even. It's not even close. Whose lines are better? There's That's one elite, clear elite line, and then there's yours. First off, I taped this line, so I gave you a better setup, all right? <laughs> you put up all the tape. Oh, that's right, because I was doing it, no one was helping. That's right. Anything wrong is like, oh, no, that was somebody else. Anything you did right, oh, yeah, sure. I don't know if you know this, but when you're in the, credit, when you're in the big leagues, nothing's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it is pain harmonica time. What is your technique? Can you demonstrate to the people what your technique with the harmonica is? <laughs> I want to break that camera out of your fucking hand right now. Ah, there's no technique really. It's just man the fuck up, you know, just hold on to it. Uh, that's what it takes, you know, and that's why I got the fucking Sim Special smelling salts because I need to fucking man up. And it's, uh, dude, I'm telling you, I'm going to get psyched up just as I'm about to do a PR on a deadlift. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do whatever it takes to not let it go. And then uh, I'm going to try not to blow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say blow. Okay, so we got a lot of new jabronis here for live ABs. And it's of the utmost importance that I send a strong message early on that you will not get a hit in live ABs. This is not your arena, this is my arena. And y'all are done for. That's what today's about. Ah! Ah! That's a strike. Ah! Oh, man. Ah! Final stats on the day, 10 batters faced, 431 punch outs, one walk, and Sim had to spin the wheel. It's a great day. Don't forget this episode of Live at Bees is sponsored by TrevorBauer.com. Get yourself some merch. So we are here at uh, JP's Comedy Club. Zach Hess is going on stage to do a skit tonight, and uh, we're gonna check it out, see what he's got for us. Apparently he's gonna make fun of all of his friends that are in the audience, so that'll be great. Do you know your, do you know your skit? Do you know what you're gonna say? You know, uh... Yeah, I came up with it like three hours ago. Okay, yeah. all right, because like four hours ago, you I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. And it probably can't go on that, because it's gonna be. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, I think that's why I should go on this. I think that's what, yeah, that's what we're here for. Okay, so now that uh, Zach is backstage, how are you feeling about him going up on stage? Is he ready? 
I think he's ready. I'm more nervous than he is. So he's going to nail it. He's going to hit it out of the park. Will you make an appearance in his skit, do you think? Knowing him, yes. And so are you. Oh, I'm in that? You know for sure? I feel like everyone needs really? to be on their toes. I mean, he was telling us like to sit next to each other. Like, yeah. purposely sit people next to each other. So. Yeah, he's trying to figure out where Sim and Tim are sitting, so... Pretty good indicator that they're right getting it tonight. Give it up for our guy right here. Give it up for our guy. Woo! You're like fucking. You're like fat and jacked at the yeah. same time. It's kind of weird. It's like I take pride in it. I know. Well, it's like if Kim Jong Un decided to do bicep curls and bench press. Like you are. You are the fucking finished product of that. So that's good. You got that going for you. That's you huge got that going. Thanks. Who's it? Who's your buddy next to you? What we got? We, that dude's jacked too. It's we, I can't see the top of your head. It's camouflage. Can you take it off for me? There you go. And you're bald. <laughs> fucking bald. Look at this shit. It's like fucking. Mr. Clean and Johnny Sins got together. <laughs> You're the finished product. I want to get ah, out of here. You are ripped. Fuck like this place up. <laughs> that was good. That was depressing. I'm just, uh, I'm disappointed I didn't make it. But how was the steak? <laughs> That's a cool old club. Family-owned business, family-run club. It's, uh, we're supporting. Great night. That was funny. Happy day after live ABs, my body is trashed. We're back to doing engineering at the facility. So we have this space up here where that ladder is and we need to get stuff up there uh, to store, just like little, get stuff off the, off the ground, like uh, those trash bags full of stuff and like some of this stuff here. So we have more floor space, but uh, we're currently working with this system to get things up there, but it's hard to climb a ladder and hold on to a big box or whatever and all this stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a pulley system in. So we're off to Home Depot to get some materials. It you just put rope the from rings on this one, right? Here on to one, right? there. From here to there. Well, prototyping is uh, done. We need like two or three more pulleys but uh, we were able to get some stuff up off the floor, which is, uh, which is nice. So another successful-ish gym project. Well, it didn't get in, in time for Live at Bats last week, but look, look what just came in. Hey, I think that looks good. Someone's gonna get punched up by Jigglypuff. It's gonna be fantastic. First training day as Jigglypuff. We gotta, th we gotta put it through its paces, you know, make sure that, uh, it's gonna stay on my head, make sure how, you know, get comfortable with it so I can dominate people as Jigglypuff. So we're gonna train in Jigglypuff costume today. We got college football playoff national championship. I think that's what it's called. Got people working out behind us. And we got some cards that we're signing here. And uh, we got Kev over here who's just looking, trying to trying to jack one of the cards. I'm gonna have to make sure and count them twice before I send them back. He's over here like a hawk trying to steal one. What do, you, what do you got on these, Kev? You like them? I, I love them. Uh, I mean, for, for those that don't know, I do collect cards, and so it's just awesome to see like them being signed in person, you know, so it's not um, like how the sticker autos are when it's just the page and they're just signing it and then they just put the stickers on, so to see it actually signed on the card is really awesome, so. Yeah, these are pretty cool, pretty cool cards. What you said they were... Uh... I think they're Bowman. Bowman Platinums, uh, that's what I saw on the P, I think, so. Kevin knows way more about this than I do even. I just, oh, sign here, okay. <laughs> so, pretty, uh, pretty low key night here, but uh, roll tide, roll tide. <laughs> 